Daniel here for Tabletop for One. Please join me at the table as I teach and play through Keystone, North America. And I thank you for joining me for this tutorial and solo playthrough of Keystone North America. Keystone is designed by Jeffrey Joyce and Isaac Vega and published by Rose Gauntlet Games. Now in Keystone, you are trying to gather endangered species and, and other animals into different ecosystems and arrange them in habitats that, that are healthy and help them grow. And so let's go into setup here. Now the first part of setup is actually choosing which of the assignments you're going to use in the solo campaign guide here. And so there are 20 different assignments and some of them involve opening up special envelopes that add different cards to the mix. And so I'm not going to spoil any of those. So with that, we're going to use assignment number two, Keystone Education. And so it tells you to uh, set it up a specific way using specific skill tokens, whether or not you use all the wild cards, using a specific secret objective card, and how many tokens you start with. There are also special rules, which I'll go over in just a minute here, and then our goal for the game. All right, and so the first thing you need is one of the player boards. This is a grid by which you're gonna be playing all of your animals onto, and we'll place it right here. We'll take the number four, a secret objective card. This is the conservation education that was required by the scenario, place it right here. Then we have three skill tokens, numbers one, three, and nine shown here in the upper right. And we'll place those right here. Then we have the wild cards. These are the cards that with this teal back on them. And you just can place them in a little grid right here and have access to them later. You will place the timer. This is a little timer track. The number four shows one dot on it. That's to signify a solo game, and you'll set it right there. You'll have a variety of the acorn tokens and the clipboard tokens. Now we're gonna gain a total of five to start. I'll place them at the bottom of the board. These are double-sided, three on one side and one on the other. Then you'll have your species deck, which you're gonna be drawing from, but you'll want to remove the ones that have the three dots in the bottom right corner. Those are for three players or more. So those get removed from the game. And the rest of them here, we'll draw six into a line here. Now, normally you do a straight line across, but just to fit it all on the screen here, what I do is a U shape, where I have the rightmost spot down here, like so, and it works its way around like this. And then we'll put the deck off to the side here. All right, and so that's it for setup. Before I talk about all the rules, I wanna talk about how you score because this is really important to understand how you score because that's gonna determine where you're gonna place your animals and stuff. So you have this handy dandy score sheet. It's gonna tell you that you're gonna be scoring all the different rows and columns of the board as well as your secret objectives and how many synergy tokens, the little acorn tokens you have at the end of the game. Now, when you place them on the board, you're gonna be wanting to line them up in sequential numbers and by habitats that match. The habitats are the left icons here, the green, the orange, and the purple, as well as the blue here. And so when you line them up, let's say I lined these three up here, you'll see that they all match with the same purple symbol here, the purple habitat. And this creates what is called an ecosystem. Now, if I added this one here, this one has a different habitat, so it wouldn't be part of the same ecosystem, even though it is in sequential order. Now, when you're scoring, you're gonna be scoring based off of the best ecosystem in each row or column. So keep that in mind. Now, in this situation here, I have a, an ecosystem of a size of three. And so what I would gain is one, two, three points for those being in that ecosystem. Now, this could be flipped. It could be five, four, three. That would work just as well. But in this case here, what would happen is I would score three points, but then what happens is you have the, the keystone here. The keystone lets you score that ecosystem a second time. And so I have three points here, and then I would score again, three more points. So then I would write down a six here at the end of the game for my scoring. However, there are other ways to earn extra points on that. If you at some point place some research tokens on one of your cards, that's gonna increase the card's value by one point each. So in this case here, the red wolf is now worth three points. So this ecosystem is now worth five points. One, two, three, four, five. But then you scored a second time with the keystone. And so then that's worth a total of 10 points. 
If you have multiple keystones in an ecosystem, you just keep scoring as many times as you have keystone. Now, in a situation like so, where uh, let's say I'd place the Mexican spotting now there and the mountain lion there, and this one up here. So these now all share the same uh, habitat. They have the orange habitat, but there's not a sequential order. There is with these two here, there's a five and a four, or these two here, four and a five. Now this one here is a wild. And so it can be any number, but it can only be a number from one to five. It cannot be a six in this situation, increasing this ecosystem. So this wouldn't count for anything. So in this case here, when you would score this column, you would choose between this uh, ecosystem here or this ecosystem here. And of course, you'd want to choose the one that gives you the most points, which would be this one here. And this would be worth one, two, three, four, and then times two, because of the keystone here, so it would be a total of eight points just for these two cards, and that's how that works. Now, as you're placing cards, you're going to be wanting to achieve your secret objectives. Now, these objectives are per fairly straightforward. This one here requires three of the same kind of icon here. It has this little icon on the right, and have three of those in a row. And then these can be rotated, so this could be vertical or uh, horizontal. This one here requires three of the same kind of season, the winter season, to be in an L-shaped pattern somewhere on the board. And again, it could just be rotated however you'd like. And this last one here requires two of, of the endangered species on your board next to each other. And then this one here requires four of the spring type animals somewhere on the board. Now that can, it could include the wild cards as well since they have the season symbols on them. All right, so on your turn, you can choose one of two actions to do. The first action is called the introduce action. And so when you do an introduce action, you'll take one of these animals and add it to your board. Now, if you choose one of the animals that's further down in the line, you're gonna have to pay in synergy tokens, the acorns, to uh, advance to gain those. So let's say I wanted the alligator snapping turtle first, I would have to spend one token there, one token here, and then I could take this one and add it to my player board here. Now, when you're placing cards on your player board, anytime that they get placed next to another card that has the same habitats, you gain that many synergy tokens that match up. So if I place this red wolf next to this American bear, I would gain three synergy tokens since they match three. But let's say this snapping turtle was already there and then I placed the red wolf here, I would gain three here and one here. So a total of four synergy tokens. Once you've completed your action, then you'll uh, shift all the cards down and refill any empty spaces. The other action you can do on your turn is to choose one of the skill actions. And th that's these three actions here. When you use the skill action, you'll exercise whatever it shows on there and then flip it over. And so in this case here, this one lets you draw three from the deck, and then you may choose one of those cards to add to your display and discarding any cards that you don't use. And then this also lets you discard two cards from the field here. And so you'll flip this over. This next one here lets you move two cards on your board, and you can move the same card twice. Anytime you move a card, you'll gain synergy bonuses based on where that card lands. And so you could just move one card to a spot and then back just to gain synergy tokens. And I'll probably use that in my playthrough. And this one lets you discard one card from the field as well. And the last one here lets you place two research tokens on an unresearched endangered species and then discard two cards from the field and you'll flip this over. Now the second type of skill action you can do is utilize any of the flipped over cards. So any of these with the, this back on them, this orange back, you can use all those and then count the timer down by one. And so in this case here, this lets you move once, this lets you research one endangered species with one token. And this last one here lets you look at three in the discard pile and add one to the display if you'd like. And so once that's done, you'll flip these back over and then you'll move the counter down by one and if the counter ever reaches zero, the game will end. But the other ending is where you fill out your entire board. All right, and so our goal for the game is to end the game with 70 or more victory points, complete at least one of my secret objective goals, and end the game with six or more keystone animals on my player board. Now, there is a special rule here that says when you add a keystone animal to your board, that you have to discard one from the field. 
And with that, we're ready to start the game. So the first thing I want to do is choose the red wolf. Uh, it's free. It also has lots of hab habitats on it. It's a keystone and an endangered species. So a lot of good things going there. It's also got the spring symbol on it, which I need four of those by the end of the game. So this is really good. I'm going to place it in the corner because I want to be able to count down from this, like five, four, three, two, and five, four, three, two this way as well. Now, because I took a keystone animal, I have to remove one from the display. Again, that's the scenario rules. And then these are gonna slide down like so, all right? And then we'll draw two new animals to fill in the display. And there's some good animals here. Now, I definitely like this black bear. It's free, I don't have to spend any synergy tokens to gain it. So I will gain it and I'll place it right here. Now, since I'm placing it here, it's matching up with this red wolf on its habitats. That's going to actually gain me three synergy tokens right off the bat. So that's really nice. And I didn't take a keystone, so we just slide everything down. And then we're going to draw a new card into this empty spot here. All right, so now I think I want this uh, Mexican spotted owl. I want another four, and it's going to match up with two of the habitats of the red wolf here. So I will spend two tokens like so and take the Mexican spotted owl and add it right here. And so that will gain me two tokens back. So that was money well spent <laughs> or synergy tokens well spent. And then we'll slide these down like so and then redraw. Let's see what we get. All right, not too bad. This one could be useful for sure uh, right here. So I'll definitely want to get that later. Also, this coyote could be useful as well. Now at this point here, I think what I'm going to do is use one of my skill actions. So this first skill action lets me take two research tokens and add them to an endangered species card, one with the exclamation point. I only have these two here. I'll just add it to the red wolf because I plan on scoring high with him. So that, that'll work out well. Because these research tokens, when I score for an ecosystem in this column and this row will count for both. So that's really nice. On top of that, I get to discard two cards from the display here, and I think I'll discard these two. I, I don't think I need these two cards here. Now, the synergy tokens that were on those cards get discarded as well. All right, so I definitely want this coyote. It's, it's a keystone. We need more keys on the board. And on top of that, it matches three habitats right here. And so this is going to be really good. And it's in sequential order. We got three, four, five. So this is really good. This is going to be a high scoring column right now. And so... I will also gain three synergy tokens because it matched three on the black bear. Looks like I did forget to flip this over. Sorry about that. And since I took a keystone animal from the display, I had to discard one. I don't think I'll need this gray wolf, so we'll discard this one. I might use this bumblebee, so I'm going to leave him in play for now. We'll see uh, if I get any other cards that'll work better. Oh, check that out. A cottontail rabbit. That's going to be really useful. I can place that one right here. <laughs> yeah, and it's a spring animal. I already have two spring animals, so I'm almost at my completion on my four spring animals for my secret objective. So that's really useful. Oh, do you? <laughs> you probably noticed this earlier, but I actually completed one of my secret objectives. See, this one here requires two endangered species next to each other, and I have two right here. So that's awesome. So what I do to track them is I take one of the clipboard tokens and I just cover it up. It just reminds me that I don't have to worry about trying to complete that one. So that's really cool. And now I'd like to take this mule deer. So this mule deer, I'll have to spend one token and I can add it, look, I can add it right here. So in this case here, this is kind of really useful for me because it starts two more ecosystems in this space here. But on top of that, I will, will gain four synergy tokens because it matches up these habitats here and here. So we add those here and then we'll slide everything down. Still not anything great. Now it does have this symbol on it that I need to have three in a row, but I don't know if I'm gonna accomplish that this game, we'll see. And so at this point, I think I will use this skill token here that lets me draw three cards. And so I may choose one of these to add to my display if I want to. And I don't see any, anything here that I really want. I mean, I could take this one here and place it right here. Yeah, that could work. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll discard the other two and then I'm going to discard these two here from the display. Now I did gain two synergy tokens because this has one habitat and matches up with these two here. So I'll just flip this one over to a three. All right, so I definitely want this bumblebee. This bumblebee is a keystone. And on top of that, if I place it right here, it's gonna match up with these here. Now these are all gonna be part of the same ecosystem because they all have oranges. And so that'll match up nicely, one, two, three, and four. It's a keystone. Yeah, it's, this is gonna work out really well. 
And so that was great. Now I have to get rid of a keystone in the center here. And so this American bison has to go away. <laughs> Once again, I forgot to flip this over. All right, and so we definitely want this cottontail rabbit. This cottontail rabbit's gonna look really good right here. Yeah, now we got two, three, four, five. That's really nicely set up. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna gain some synergy tokens and I, I actually think I, I forgot to gain a synergy token from this from placing the bumblebee. So that was that was one. But then from placing the cottontail rabbit, it matches three here and three here. So I'm gonna get a lot. There's a lot of synergy tokens there. All right, so I definitely want this red fox in this spot here. It's gonna match up two habitats with the Mexican spotted owl, and that's gonna continue that that ecosystem there. So I will spend two to gain the red fox placing it right here, and then I'll gain two back. So that was nice. Now I did not mention how you gain the wild cards. I should have mentioned that earlier, sorry about that. But the way you gain the wild cards is shown at the very top right corner here, is you have to spend 10 tokens for them. And I'm seriously considered buying one right now, I'm placing it right here. It'll be a wild number two, so it'll match both of these ecosystems here. And on top of that, it'll give me my fourth spring symbol, so I will finish that second secret objective. So yeah, I'm, I'm swimming in synergy tokens. I'm gonna spend the 10 and buy this one, placing it right here, and then I will gain two synergy tokens for that placement. And so now I've completed my second secret objective. So now I have to decide how am I gonna accomplish my, my third and fourth one here. I don't think I'm gonna get the fourth one because that requires uh, three winter animals somewhere on the display. There aren't any winter animals currently available here, so I don't know how that's gonna happen. But I'm also not liking my selection here. See, I need, I need a two animal here that's gonna match two of these, uh, the green or the orange habitat. So I need a two here. I need a one here if possible. Yeah, so I need to start getting rid of some of these cards on the display. So what I will choose to do is this skill action here. Let's me move a card twice or move two different cards. I'm gonna move this card right here, which will gain me three synergy tokens for that movement and then move it back here, which will gain me two more, no, three more. So I'll get six synergy tokens total. And then I get to get rid of one card from the display. We'll just get rid of this one here. And so this flips over. So now if I choose the skill action, I will get to use all three of these. All right, so I think I will use this option here. I'm not gonna use most of these, I, I think. So the first thing I'm gonna do is not use this one. So this just flips back over. I will use this one to research one of my endangered species. I have one here. And so I'll place the token right there. And so we'll flip this over. And this last one here lets me draw three from the, the discard pile, the top three. And I don't know if I want these. I don't know if it's a good choice. I, it just depends on whether I'm, I'm gonna try for the winter or not. But maybe, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I'll, I'll place this one right here so I can try for four, three, two, maybe. Oh no, because I want a one there, don't I? I don't think I'm gonna take any of these cards. <laughs> we'll just flip this back over, but now we run the timer down by one. And with that, we're gonna use the other special action here. And so we'll draw three cards from the top of the pile here and let's see what we get. Oh, this is tempting. I, now this is a one green here. So if I take the one green here, place it right here. Now I have two of those purple symbols in a row. And if I get a third one right here, then I'll score that other secret objective. And now this is one, two, three. So this kind of works out well for me. I, I, I think I will take it and we'll discard these other two. And I'll gain one synergy bonus for that placement. And then I get to discard two cards from the display. I don't know that it matters which ones I discard at this point. I'll just discard these two at the bottom. And then I'm gonna spend three tokens here to, or actually, <laughs> it's gonna be five tokens to get to that Lynx. And we'll add it right here. I think that's good placement. But then I wanna use this action here, which lets me put two research tokens on a card and I'll place it on the Lynx there. And we'll flip this over. We'll also discard two cards from the display. And I think I'll discard these two here. And since I'm realizing that I don't have enough of the keystones out right now, I definitely need to work on those. So I'll grab this one here, adding it to the display right there. And then I will discard this one here. And then I will add the Arctic Fox. We'll place him right here. So that's my fifth keystone. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, that means I'm not gonna complete the, the this secret objective, but I can still complete this other one if I put a winter card right here. 
And so I'm gonna use the second skill action where I can use the ones that are flipped upside down. And I'll, I'll skip this one, I don't really need this one, but I'll use this one here where I can draw three from the pile here and I'll choose one that I'm gonna add to my display. I need another keystone card. So I'm gonna add this one and I guess it'll just go right here. So that'll be my placement. Now I have all six that I need for this scenario. So that's done. But because I added one to my display, I have to get rid of a keystone if there is one here and there's not. And so that advances the timer, but uh, we're gonna be at the end of the game here because I, all I need is one more card and I'll take this Wolverine here and add it to the display here. All right, so that completed my third secret objective. So that was really good. So I'm gonna get a total of 16 points from this. It's really nice. You're probably yelling at me. I forgot some placement bonuses from <laughs> my synergies. Yeah, I, I forgot some. I, I'm looking at probably an extra five or six synergy tokens. That's my mistake. I always forget those every time I play. But let's go on to final scoring. And so you just follow the scoring here by column and then by row. So this first column here, we're looking at what is the best uh, system that I have here. And it looks like this one's the best system. Now this one has two keystones here and they are in the same uh, ecosystem, but that would only score me four points. This one here, however, is gonna score me eight points because I have one keystone. So we have one, two, three, four from those tokens and then times two because of the keystone. So that's eight points right there. So we'll write an eight here. And this next one here, now I have a one, two, and a three, so that's gonna be my ecosystem. And I have no keystones or anything, so it's just a three-pointer. And the next one here, we have one, two, three, four. They have all have the orange habitat, so they're all part of the same ecosystem. We have one keystone, so this will be scored twice. So we have one, two, three, four, five times two, that's 10 there, so not bad. And this last one here is a whole ecosystem. We have two keystones in it, so it'll be scored three times total. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six times three, that's 18 points, excellent. All right, and so this next one here, we start with the first row at the top. And there's two ecosystems to choose from. One has a keystone, and so this would be worth four points here but this other one is also worth four points. So <laughs> it really doesn't matter which one I choose there, we'll gain four. And then the next one here, we have one, two, and three together with a keystone. So that's six points because it was scored twice. This next one here, we have two, three, and four, and there's no keystones, so that's just gonna be three points. And this last one here at the bottom is three, four, and five. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one keystone, so 12 points there. And then we have our secret objectives. We completed three, so we get 16 points. And then our synergy tokens here, you get one point for every three, and it looks like I have five here. Again, I probably should have a little bit more than that, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And if my calculation is correct, I have a total of 85 points. And so we'll check here to see, did I complete everything? And our, again, our assignments were to end the game with 70 or more victory points, which I did, complete at least one secret objective goal, which I did, and end the game with six or more keystones on the board. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, <laughs> barely made it. But there you go, yeah, 85 points past assignment number two, and we're on to the next one. And so again, there, there are different assignments in here. So the next one here tells you to open sealed envelope number one, and then you'll do some new objectives and there's different things to do. And so, yeah, a lot of different challenges. Uh, this game turned out to be better than I thought it, I, I would enjoy it. And so there you go. That was the tutorial and solo playthrough of Keystone North America by Jeffrey Joyce and Isaac Vega and by Rose Gauntlet Games. Now this is my own copy of the game. I have not been provided with anything to do this tutorial solo playthrough. And I want to tell you that I very much enjoyed this game. Once I got started on the scenarios, the scenarios really elevate this game, really give you challenges every time you play. A lot of great things to do. So I highly recommend this game. And so let me know in the comments below what you thought of this game. Please also like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And I thank you very much for joining me on Tabletop for One. Have a great night.